Greetings, fellow tailors, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Death of the Isle. Episode 40, Magical Vestments. Tal's like, oh my god. You guys, your uniforms are killing me. Oh, and rhinos want to eat us. Ooh, that's a lot of rhinos. All right, Tal, you hang back because you are busy. Everyone else venture up here. Who's going that? Oh, no, that's Thomas. So there's some uh, older Wanderer's Cloaks. So on this shelf, I'm just going to say like 95 plus so that we only have the stuff that's freshly made. Uh oh, Sildan is. Oh, apparently they don't care about Sildan. <laughs> um, Sildan, I'm gonna have you come inside. So I popped the door open to lure them here. Yeah, and it worked. Remember not to destroy the food? We have our meat stocks pretty well full up, so I'm not too worried about that. And here's the uh, follow through armor that is going to be part of the, uh, the queue. So I'm, I'm actually only going to make this until we have one spare, just because it takes a lot of work. And we have a grinding wheel. So the other thing is to make sure that we have it as efficient as possible. So grinding wheels. Um, how many... Does it say how many can be connected? I wish it would say, like, the maximum amount that can be connected. Quenching bucket, tool racks, bellows, grinding wheel. I think everything is made here so that this anvil is as fast as possible. And it's, um... Oh, Sildan got, uh... Oh, they came through. Bye, Sildan. I didn't notice. Another slave bites the dust. We go through slaves uh, rather rapidly. Well, I guess we're eating some goblin tonight. I don't even, where is Sildan's body? Oh, shield's standing on it. Hey, Tal. Uh, one of the minions is moving the body already. We also have the ability to do research projects now into... In here, I think? What, what books did we have? Ballista and Noble Pole Arm. So yeah, we'll have Noble Pole Arms available to us in a minute. All right. Too bad I don't have a Necromancer? Yeah, it's, it is too bad. If we did, we could make use of his body. But instead, uh, the Greater Minion is thrown in the ocean. Which is not really where I wanted it. Now, Tal has to go fetch it from the ocean, which is annoying. So 
So I figured out uh, the uniform for Thomas or for regular mages. And what I'm going to do is as I craft those, I roll them out to new mages because I don't want my mages to all be naked in the meantime. That doesn't make sense. Um, that is a whole lot of rough. And a lot of meat that's just going to get spoiled, but it's, it's fine. Oh, someone else wore a hood. That's another thing is I need to make sure that nobody... Okay, so Thomas put the hood on, that's fine. But to make sure nobody else is like wearing stuff they shouldn't. So Thomas, are you looking right? Chosses, trousers, surcoat. Yeah, Thomas has everything on that he should have, except for, of course, the um, the armor that is not made yet. Okay, so I figured out mages. Uh, then I have to figure out rangers. So my guess is rangers... New outfit? Ranger. Or ranged. So we're going to give them the... Oh, bugged out again. It's really, really annoying. The... Noldoran. Helmets and armor is, I'm assuming, going to be the toughest stuff for them. Because I don't mind the rangers wearing a little bit of um metal. I just didn't want the mages to. So, 61 and... Or actually the... Well, yeah. So that will be the toughest stuff for them. Um, and then likewise, we'll put them in the leather boots. Leather gloves. Quiver. Sir Coat. Chosses. Trousers. And I um, don't think I'll give them cloaks. Maybe cloaks of protection, but they're not going to be all that affordable in the short term. We're also getting bad temperature for crafting, so... I'll put some passive coolers in there to bring the temperature down. So that towel doesn't take forever to smith. So for now, I'm gonna try to roll out um, the entire uniform for the mages, and then work towards ranged. Because there's a lot more mages than ranged. Elwyn has joined us. So, little reminder here. Elwyn is a physical adept. Um, brawler with a burning passion of melee. This is your bedroom. And you are going to be raffled. Raffle timer's up. So, um, should Elwyn inscribe her own book? Yes or no? The alternative, of course, is that um, she could become a any class that we already already have access to. So, like, if I wanted her to become a blade dancer, she could just become a blade dancer for uh, shield inscribing the book. But have you guys voted on that? Owen, I um I don't really want you making that. So 
I also did not do your work priorities. That's my fault. And there you go. You guys think Elwyn should inscribe her own book, so I'll start working towards the new Marshall book. Portal, so busy. And I'm gonna have her inscribe it um, once the uh, raffle's done. Just cleaning up remnants of uh, Sildan there. Poor Sildan. Could not run the rhinos. Did a whole lot of strip mining here. So Thomas, I do believe that a full set of gear for you is ready. So we'll have him come back and wear it and then dye it. And then um, Tal will uh, roll out the next set for the next mage. Yeah, that looks about right. So you have a sharp of 75 compared to Tal's sharp of 91. So it's really not that... Um, it's really not that terrible of a gear set for not being an archmage. So we've got a Disciple Hood which is given energy, energy regen, stuff like that, and the water is cloak. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So you are a... Uh, you're like an earth mage, so I would say the external stuff should be earthen colors. Because you're like a geomancer. Let's make you geomancer colory. And there's the typical uniform. All right, raffle has run its course. So, inscribing her own book, check. And she is going to be named after Burgon. Oh, perfect. So, Burgon, um, if she wears purple, will you think it's blue? <laughs> All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Hopefully you inscribe something good. Oh, um, penalties for inscribing something bad. What happens if Burgon inscribes forbidden stuff? Organs, um, enslaved, or attempt again. So, very fast hole there.
So J Fry, you put on a different hood that was like better, I guess. And you took off your old hood. So I'll dye the new hood. Because the new hood was excellent. So Turnip, you are the next one to become a proper mage color mage. And then she needs um, to be zoned. Done. Yeah, if anyone needs to relax, it's Tal. So it'll be exciting that the mages will look like mages to some degree. And then the last part of this is, of course, um, once all of our new gear is on, uh, to destroy any gear that we do, do not need any longer. So Turnip is wearing everything except for the armor, and that's because the armor is not available. Turnip, we're going to make you sort of purpley, I think. Because, of course, you are a succubus. All right. Burgon made a ranger style. Uh, so technically that is acceptable. But the caveat, of course, is that she's a brawler. So I need to ask you uh, what to do now. Become a ranger or attempt again. These books are not cheap. Um, of course, each martial book is 350 Magicite and Devil Strand. But like we have the Devil Strand, we can make the Magicite, albeit it's annoying. Um, wait, what armor? Oh, yeah. Okay. I haven't set you up for armor. So mana weave can be made by anyone. Infusing chunks could be made. And so infusing chunks could be made by anyone. I don't really care who does it. But the disciple hoods and water's cloaks should only be made by us. By Patel. So this will be turnip's armor. I wonder if there's any noble pole arms that I'll like even want. Oh, interestingly, uh, to get. I don't have military pole arm schematics. I wonder if it will actually let me research that or not. Because noble pole arms is a prerequisite, or military pole arms is a prerequisite of noble pole arms. So, like, from my understanding, I shouldn't even be allowed to do what I'm currently doing, but, you know, whatever. All right, I think turn up. You are all done. And let's dye that armor of yours. In fact, let's also dye your hair purple too. Perfect. Like it. Hambic, you're next. So 
So I think we're a little behind on boots, chasses, and surcoats. Um, so surcoats, linen, chasses made of heavy fur or thick leather, that's fine. And then boots made of heavy fur or thick leather, that's fine. Okay. Turn up, do you have a quiver? You do. The other thing I'm probably going to need to do is to cast the um, spell mending. So Thomas, your gear is, some of it is in pretty bad shape. So Jay Fry, come over here and spell mend Thomas. Because we, we essentially don't want to have to make replacement gear if we can help it. So we'll cast spells to maintain armor instead. So that like these trousers don't have to be replaced. And that lightens the load off of Tal considerably. So Tal, your gear uh, likewise needs mending. So as soon as spell mending's off, or uh, you, you can mend it yourself. There we go. Uh, Makoto has converted. Nice. So I'm to enslave you then. According to the game, uh, we have a bunch of idle mages. Um, everyone's going to be allowed to mine. And we'll get some additional mines going. Because this is how we're feeding the forge. Oh, I uh, spaced that wrong. I spaced that. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, actually, no, we were doing it before. All right, that should be good for now. I'll keep them busy. So, Hambick, you are missing pants. But everything else you have on, you are also a succubus, so you're going to be the same color as, you know, maybe a slightly different purple from from Turnip, just to mm, tell you apart a little bit better. You guys want me to attempt again um, because the ranger book is kind of boring. Got it. Time to spend that uh, magicite burning through our supply. I mean, the worst case scenario, we can always sell these combat style books, but like, I don't love having to burn through them. And man, our mages look, they look great. They really do. They're starting to look correct and I love it. All right, so there's the second martial book. Wish me luck, or wish Burgon luck. The other thing is, Madzi, I think you have earned, or maybe is Galdir, you're the gladiator. Uh, you are going to go for the blade. You know, I think there's a very real possibility that we've straight up destroyed, no, no, it's right here. The Julian's Thunder. I was a little worried that we'd destroy that sword. But no, there we go. Julian's Thunder, equipped in all its glory. A relic. Gladiator. All right. A second gladiator. And you can use that uh, demon skill sword. Cool. Not a death knight, but you know, whatever. It's good enough. Burr on the gladiator. So Hambick is done. Uh, the only other mages. The only other mage left would be Guero. Guero is the last mage standing yet to be in mage garb. 
Well, Rogi too. Rogi is kind of like a, a slightly different given the lack of a wand, but technically a mage, so we'll do Rogi as well. So far, so good. Uniforms are coming together. It's too bad uh, Tal can't work drive himself. He would need to demote himself into not being leader, which I'm not going to do. And yeah, Rip, hoping for Death Knight just isn't happening. Cheers. I think uh, Sauron was right to put Tal in charge in this way because he is a productivity monster. So his gear is fully mended. Sweet. Thomas, your gear is fully mended. J Fry, you need to self cast. Turnip, your gear is mm, in good enough repair. And Hambix in good enough repair. Good. So I think actually down here, I will put the chosses, padded chosses, trousers, boots, and gloves. Even though it is shared, uh, I think it's fine. And also quiver. And that this um, requires 95% plus, so anything not worth putting on that shelf gets discarded. Uh, we do have to decide what we're doing with Makoto. We might have pulled down this before, but that was like two, three weeks ago. I don't remember. Enslaved. Taught. Might or magic. So, reminder, uh, Makoto is a slowpoke psychopath, abrasive, annoying voice, nervous. <whistles> what a lot of traits. Um, and could be given miter magic abilities as a Gundabad orc, or just uh, kept as a slave. Okay, the clothing is all set. And now we're working on another suit of armor. So, Rogi, you're up. You're a mage. Go wear mage stuff. Uh, there is no way to request a trade caravan. In this scenario. They're not allowed on purpose. Uh, okay, uh, wear that yourself. Also, I didn't realize that he had an inspiration. Like, did he have an inspiration? I don't think Tal did. I am not sure how he made a legendary man weave. <laughs> Whatever. So this is a sharp of 54, and this is a sharp of... 39. I actually kind of like it purple. I'll leave it the its natural color. So 
Makoto, looks like you are going to be just... Oh, I didn't mean to hit the pole. Uh, just uh, enslaved. We lost Silden, so you're the new slave. Apparently. Rogi, why'd you... Oh, okay. Uh, so, Rogi, are you head-to-toe correct clothing? It does seem so, yeah. Cool. So let's get you dyed. Uh, you are a blood mage, so you're going to be a blood red color. And your hair to match. And we're, I'm intentionally leaving her with a bow because bows do way more bleeding than wands. So that's on purpose. So last but not least will be Guero. And then we'll have all the mages done, which is like half of our population, right? Like, oops. That is seven of the 14. So good progress, I'd say. So we need the Wanderer's Cloak. And that's all we need for, uh, for Guero. Isn't there a bit about the intellect of the mage? Uh, on the Arcane Forge. Item qualities are determined by the intelligence skill and class level. Okay. So he's making stuff because he's a level 41 mage who's super smart. So, yeah, you're right. He can make legendary stuff as a result. Which is even more cheese than... More moral magic. Why are you so not balanced? But, all right, that's fine. I'm not complaining. Uh, so, Rogue, you have some tattered stuff, huh? Uh, J Fry, sneak into a room and make it untattered. You're like a fairy godmother of gear. Wow. Oh, this is like hand me down uh, Nodoran armor. Like, we got this Nodoran armor from like a corpse. But for a blood mage, like, that makes sense. So, I'm, I'm okay with it. And a new caravan, but it's exotic goods, not arcane goods. So, not super sexy. Well, I have a bunch of people having a mental break. And surprise, surprise, it's a bunch of goblins in Hambik. Hambik, because he's in somewhere ugly? Really? It's not ugly in there. Shut up, dude. What a whiner. Well, combat style ranger. Getting rid of that. Getting rid of the rubies because I don't need them. Oh, well, they're straight up selling an orbit of the eternal. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll take it. They also have an orb of souls, uh, which is not something we need right now. They have another uh, telescope. And a... That's it. Okay. Yeah, it still straights. Uh, the Orb of Souls might not be a terrible thing to do to Makoto. Because his traits suck. Should we buy the Orb of Souls to make Makoto better. I'll leave it up to you. Pulling all his traits out. Because it might... If, if if we remove all his traits, it might be worth reconsidering whether he becomes a... Um, one of us or not. Ooh, awful quality. <laughs> I mean... You know, I'm actually going to control for quality. I'm going to say at least normal. Because uh, that was that was a low blow. OK, 
Can you stop switching your armor around, Rogi? So I don't want to have to keep dying at new colors because you're a fashionista. And you guys want to buy their work. So let's do that. Before they leave. So, order souls. Uh, I'm gonna have to part with something. Just a few magicite. There goes all our silver. We are literally, I would say penniless, but we have a single penny. So, yeah, I mean, almost penniless. Makoto. Let's have you. How do you use this? You wear it? Check how it works. Yeah, maybe I should. Powerful, dangerous artifact. It requires no external power and can extract the soul of upon possessing traits. If successful, the orb souls will absor absorb all traits from the target and the target will lose absorb the absorbed traits. The process almost always lethal. Oh! Ha ha ha! All right. I'm okay with it almost always being lethal. We're gonna do it. Is it something we wear? It is. Go wear the soul orb. Or something. Maybe that's not how to do it. Oh, devour soul. Uh, you wait, we can't devour it on ourselves. Got it. So it's a little funky to use. Alright, because you might die, just like don't wear stuff right now. So sign you new outfit. Birthday suit. Go wear a birthday suit. Will the second pawn get traits? No, it goes into the orb. But, uh... I feel like it's a kind of a succubus thing to do. To, like... Oh, wait. It's... Uh, okay, it, I screwed up, it's gear that I can't remove from him now. Because he stuck the orb where the sun don't shine. And, uh, yeah. You think the orb's in the stockpile? I don't. I think he stuck it up. Oh, no, it's there. What? This is so confusing. All right, Hambick, go uh, wear it. This is probably a bug. So Hambick is a industrious succubus, and you're gonna go devour a soul. It worked, and he's alive. Uh, except for there is a devour soul here. So I think um, Makoto survived the process, which is good. Wasn't lethal. Because basically he sucked so bad that he didn't have traits worth dying over. Um, now this orb has horrible, stupid traits. Which is cool. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and try to sell it back to them. <laughs> a used <laughs> orb. Uh, Makoto at some point will devour the soul of someone else. I seem to have found a bug where I can devour souls infinitely, which is dumb. But Makoto, uh, congratulations, you can wear no armor. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Death of the Isle, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 24th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. 
If you'd like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Radamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Corsairs.